Good morning and uh, welcome back. Today we have a 2022 Gulfstream Amerilite. It is a 25 BH. It is uh, still hooked up to the transport driver's truck here. So this is about as fresh as they come. Um, manual uh, tongue jack up front along with manual stabilizers. Decent uh, pass through. So pretty straightforward there. Looks like the clips are back on these particular ones. Stepping back, good size awning. Big uh, grab handle for the entry door. There is a little bit of storage over here, so that's why I'm coming. It's essentially underneath the bunk. Uh, nothing special outdoor kitchen wise. Pretty straightforward unit. No slide outs, nothing like that. Um, it is a little bit shorter than most. It doesn't have the height, so I'm not sure the specs on that, but if you're looking for something that's not quite as tall, this might be right up your alley. This does have the traditional entry steps to it, so just be aware. All right, walking in. So you've got your entry door there. Master bed is up front. It is a walk around, uh, we'll call it a north-south bed. Curtain pull for privacy. Nice upper shelf up here. I really like uh, having that option. On both sides of the bed, you will find power, 12 volt and uh, 110. Of course, standard hanging. Little shelves that you guys can use as well. I do like the fact that you've got two lights underneath there too. So very, very well lit. And then of course, very, very ample storage underneath the bed. All right, turning around, I guess I'll show you the control panel that's set in here. Pretty straightforward, nothing special, nothing different. Booth dinette, which of course will drop down to make into a bed. Turning uh, a little sideways here, you've got the kitchen. And then, of course, storage in thereof. Uh, this is a quick uh, shot of the weight of this unit. 4215 looks like uh, the unloaded uh, vehicle weight or dry weight, so to speak. And then uh, just zip you into a couple of these cubbies. And again, this is exactly how they're coming in off the truck. So we haven't done any tidying up. I haven't straightened any... Heck, I didn't even straighten up the, the comforter up front. Microwave still not put in there. Roof AC. Some nice storage area in here. Place to put a television right over here in the corner. Of course, TV back around the wall. Um, underneath these cushions, got these little pull holes. Decent sized storage underneath. Kind of gives you some options. I know sometimes uh, you get mechanicals underneath these ones, so I always like to show them, even if it's just a quick little. There is, uh, I suppose, a wheel well over there. I did mention you're not getting the extra height of a few of the other ones, so that is one reason why. Huge fridge and freezer. 12 volts, of course. Dometic, much more efficient kind of the way most of the industry is going over here plenty of storage and again same thing there is a sink outside of the restroom here and then of course storage down below really good bunk sizes down here fire extinguisher looks like it's laying there um, obviously it'd get put up front, but these are considered double bunks, so pretty spacious. Can definitely fit two uh, little munchkins in there. And then moving over to the restroom area. Bathrooms, toilets kind of set up. Big tub. A lot of times you'll have kids and whatnot. Roof vent. Dome light so you can actually fit in the shower. And then uh, if I'm pointing things out, this came from Gulfstream with a little piece of tape on that, so... Something tells me that didn't come loose, that just came in that way. Overall, pretty clean unit, pretty nice unit. 
definitely has the weight in its favor. You can pack them in and uh, the price point on this one should be uh, pretty much unbeatable. Questions, comments, concerns, let me know.